right, guys, welcome back to the Mokdong studio. I am Wolf, and joined with me is Moltrap. We're going to do the rest of our games here today. Next up, we've got Nada versus Alicia. And, of course, you know, Alicia losing his game, Nada losing his game. So both these guys 0-1. It's a very yeah. important game for them. Yeah, very important. At this kind of a situation, if you get to 0-2 in a group of five players, you're pretty much out. I mean, we've seen... A couple people come back from that sort of situation with a crazy tie, but it's tough. It's really unlikely, and at that point, it's not even like completely up to your skill. Like you have to win both your remaining games, and you have to hope that other people mess up in the right yeah. combination. That there's enough of a tie that you can get in a tiebreaker match. Yeah, and very true. It's it's really it's an important match for both these players. You may see whoever loses this match knock it out of the group. So. You know, if you're a Nada fan, get on Twitter, tweet about Nada. That's right. Hashtag the Wish GSL. Luck. And do the same for Alicia if you're an Alicia fan. If you're a fan of both <clears> of them, <throat> hope that there's somehow a draw and they both get a point. I don't know yeah. if that's possible. But well, that's you know. what I'm doing right now, man, because I'm <laughs> actually, I, I think I'm, I'm obviously more of a Nada fan. But I, I like Alicia, too. I really kind of want him to see him come back and do as well as he did for, like, a couple seasons when he was, like, a really good Protoss. Yeah. And, you know, I'm just a fan of Slayers in, in general, so it's good to see Good to see my homies yeah. win. Of course. Well, for me, I've always been a Nada fan. He's a great oh, player, yeah. and he was great in StarCraft 1. He was really consistent in StarCraft 2 until recently. So I'm kind of sad that he's not been doing as well, but I'm really happy that he's made it to the up and downs I want him to win. But Alicia, like you said, you know he's an awesome guy. He's, he's really nice in person, and he's a really good Protoss. He's the chosen one after all. So I'm torn, Moltrap. I don't know either who I really want to win this game. I am, uh, I'm not torn, I want Nada to win. <laughs> well, we'll see Sorry. what happens. It's Tall Dream Ultra, When it so comes down to it, there's very few people I would pick over Nada. You know, <laughs> if I gotta go with my heart there. But when I gotta pick who I think is gonna win, that's where I get torn, because both these guys have shown some incredible play. Both these guys have shown some rustiness. So we're gonna find out which is gonna come out in the GSL up and down matches. And down here at the bottom left is our Terran player from the team OGS. He was a legend in StarCraft 1. OGS Nada. There he is. Such a legend that he had the popularity to open his own gaming gear website vendor recently. Nada Code S Go. Nada Code S Go. On the bottom it says Nada's Korean name. Fighting. There you go. And up here in the top left is his Protoss opponent. Can he regain his spot in Code S that he's been away from so long? It is. Slayer's Alicia. I remember Slayer's picked him up like right when everyone was like, oh man, Slayer's doesn't have any Protosses. And then they picked up Alicia, because he was a Protoss that was doing pretty good. And everyone's like, man, Slayer snipes all the good players. And then Alicia kind of got bad again, and Slayer still didn't have any good Protosses. And then they picked up Puzzle, and he stopped. Actually, I wonder if Slayer says a curse. When they pick up a Protoss player, they go into a slump. <laughs> well, we shall see. By the look of things, we're going to see Nada go for a one barracks expand. A pretty common build to see on this map. I'm really excited to see these two titans collide here on this particular map. It's Tall Dream Altar. We're going to see an awesome PBT, a longer game most likely. And the probe does see no gas. He's going to know immediately, okay, one barracks expand. I expected this of you, Nada. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I do want to uh, say again, just a little bit of an apology. If you guys are just joining us, didn't catch at the beginning. I do have a cold right now, so <clears throat> sorry if you hear a muffled cough. I'm trying not to cough into the microphone, but if I do a sneeze suddenly, I apologize in advance. Nada is going for that expansion now. Not surprising at all in this kind of a map. And Alicia, you know, he's not up to any shenanigans either. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Well, what Alicia's actually, got up I guess sleeve. I guess we could see. Well, he's got. He's probably going to go for an expansion, but he also could just plant down more gateways. And you know, I mean, speaking of that, he's got 75 Chrono Energy on his Nexus Moltrap, oh. so we shall see. Chrono boosting his Stalker and his Cybernetics Core immediately here, huh. and is actually well. 
We'll see. I think he's probably just going to make a Nexus, but it's it's hard to say for certain. And he is sending a probe down to check for SCVs and make sure there's no SCV checking in. It looks like he is just going to make the Nexus. Okay. I was worried. I was like, oh, please don't try to foregate. Yeah. Not a <laughs> no, for a second, it, you're right. It looked like he might do a foregate because he had saved up the money, and the money could go for a Nexus or go, could go for three extra gateways. Yeah. And, you know, with what? Alicia has done here, he's got a lot of Chrono Boost to spend on his warp gates to get those units out to defend. Sending a Stalker right now to take the Watchtower, and Nada's actually sneaked the SCV away. He's going to be able to scout around the side and see that Nexus. <laughs> and it, by the looks of things, Nada's bunker is going to be up completely in time for the Stalker. Wow, perfect timing. Here comes the SCV actually into the natural of Alicia. He's oh, going he to see that see? Nexus. Oh. He is going to see the Nexus, sees the sentry, sees the pylon, and sees his life flash before his eyes. <laughs> Indeed he did. Nada adding two more barracks right now in his main base. He's taking his gases as well. We'll see how Alicia wants to follow up his one gate expand. There are several different styles right now. The most common is to get the two gateways and then follow up with the robo. A few probes being transferred for Alicia now as well. So it looks like we are going to see both players just basically going for a bit of a macro game here. And that makes me really excited. Yeah. Often in a longer game, it's more likely that the better player will win. Very true. So it's a more true test of the overall skill involved in StarCraft if you have to involve micro and macro and multitasking and decision making. I like that Nada game. is continuing to use the Stalker to poke at the front of the base. He's damaged the bunker slightly. He's also always aware of whether or not Nada is going to move out to put some pressure on, because he's got to be aware of that. He knows he's got a risky expand up, and it looks like Alicia is going down the robo route, taking the robo after the additional gateways. Engineering bay on the way for Nada, as well as Stem. He started his first two Marauders, and that means that Renata is actually going to be able to put some pressure on now if he wants to. The Stalker, not the best control there by Alicia, almost losing a Stalker. Yeah, the Robo route <clears throat> is uh, its kind of when you come into the fork in the road, and you've got your different paths. You've got the, you know, seven warp gate route. It's <laughs> straightforward, it's direct, but it's very bumpy, and there's a couple places where you could fall off the path. The Robo route is kind of the middle ground where, you know, it's very solid, it's straight, but it's not quite as straightforward. It kind of loops around a little bit. It goes around the hills <laughs> and that kind true. of thing. You can get it and up. And of course, you can go for other various paths. Like, yeah, if you take like the, the 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 rope bridge of Dark Templar <laughs> that could fall up from underneath you. Well, if you take the Robo uh, path, you get to go up to the top of a tall mountain, and there's it's a good vantage point. You can kind of see what's going on from up there. It's true. And in get fact, that is vision. exactly what Nada or excuse me, Alicia's going to do. He's sending an observer out right now, and immediately following up with a forge and a twilight council. So interesting variation on this build. Not doing the double forge, just immediately getting a forge and a twilight council. Huh. And he's going to see this push coming with that very same stalker he had out there earlier. He's got to be careful with it, though. Damaging some marines, being very aggressive with his stalker micro. I like this, making an immortal as well. Yeah. He's got the robo, why not? Especially because he saw at least four marauders, and if there's going to be a battle, you're going to want that immortal pounding away on those marauders. Very true. And Blink that is, being upgraded now. There's a lot of units. Yeah, Blink first. He's going to maybe perhaps force field here. Yeah, oh. dropping two force fields, not wasting the third one as the units do turn around. Not a ton of energy left for Alicia. In total, about six more force fields left. That's going to allow him to buy some more time, but if Nada really wants to commit, he's not going to have enough forever. Second forge finishes here, and it looks like for now, Nada has stopped the attack. Oh, and Nada, interestingly, Alicia's forces that were checking for a backside attack, and Nada's marine that was checking for an attack going around the side, both met. Of course, the three stalkers easily take out that one marine. But Nada's just gone ahead and turned around and gone home. He's like, all right, well, you know what? You have enough sentries that you could just cut my army in half and kill me in two strokes. So I'm just going to turn around and use this little advantage that I have for the moment to clear out the rocks and get a third base. 
Yeah, and in fact, Nada has gotten a Ghost Academy as well. Two Ghosts on the way. It's going to really power up his forces. He obviously has Combat Shields and Stem already. He's got plus one just finishing right now. His Medivacs are on the way. So he's got everything that he needs to bully Alicia right now. But on the other hand, Alicia made four additional gateways, and that's going to give him a really strong force he's going to be able to use to actually har harass and attack Nada's army. It's going to be kind of a who attacks first situation because the defender is definitely going to have an advantage in this situation, I would say. 1-1 one, one finishing up right now for Alicia. His charge is not going to be finished in time for this attack. Alicia actually going to use some blink here to harass. He actually forces a stim. Every Ooh. single unit of Nada stims there with only two medevacs out. That's pretty tough for him. Oh, and he might lose a medevac. No, he doesn't quite lose it, but he loses two stalkers trying to get that medevac. Yeah, that was, and Nada's uh, trying to harass the high ground. He needs to be careful, though. This is a tough call by Alicia, but he's trying to snipe these medevacs. Does damage it a little bit more. Got to be very careful. Losing as many stalkers as he did the first time was way not worth it. Yeah. And Nada, actually a little bit scared of that army, is going to turn around and try and go back as well. And he was going to try and harass from the low ground, try and use the medevacs to gain vision, to kind of shoot up, kill off an assimilator if he could. But... Very wisely, he's just going to turn around and go back, regroup a little bit. But the first Colossus is on the way now. Yeah, indeed it is. And Nada actually is still at scary army. He's ahead in supply, but the key thing here is that he's got a third base, so his pressure has actually scared Alicia from making a Nexus for a while. Now he's got his command center up. Even if he doesn't force a cancel on this Nexus, he's already ahead. But it looks like with this many units, he may very well force the cancel here. Wow, yeah, he's definitely going to force it, or it's going to die. No, he stops targeting the Nexus to go after the army, but he does EMP all the shields on those sentries and the Immortals. Doesn't target them down quick enough, but finally targets them down, and Anada is rolling over the army. He can now turn and kill off that expansion at his leisure. Does get cancelled just in time. And uh, he's not done yet, Moltrap. There is one Colossus out here, but Alicia actually having to turn around. A little bit of a hesitation from Whoa. Alicia. Good micro by Nada, and the Colossus being targeted, it Whoa. does go down, and this may be the end for Alicia. Losing that Colossus, may have lost him the game, he's having to pull his probes back. One final assault with the probes, he's warping in Zelts on the other sides, but Nada definitely micros out from in between that trap. He's gonna lose his ghost, but keep the rest of his army to kite those Zealots for days. Yeah, really nice control by Nada. He's now got double the supply of Alicia. 2-2 two, two, about to finish for Alicia. That would have been very helpful in that battle, but unfortunately for him, he did not quite have that out in time. His next was canceled. Nada, actually, I'm a little bit surprised he didn't just kill the next. There were several times where one volley would have just killed it, but he decided not to, to target it down, so he was able to get that 300 minerals back. But it's not, you know, that's like me trying to give one good thing about what happened for Alicia, that he was able to cancel the Nexus. <laughs> but that's about it. That's all he's really got going for him right now. Nada got a secondary force about to attack. Alicia does have the 2-2 upgrades that are going to help him out significantly. He does have that one Colossus. But Nada is just, he's got so many units. He's running up here. Some good force fields go down. Yeah, but I don't know if they're going to be enough. That one Colossus is crucial. The force field's keeping things back, but he does able to weasel his army out from between. That is mostly Marauders, which means that Colossus is not going to be able to tear through this army as quickly as he wants to. Here he is just kiting back, making sure the Colossus can't get any hits off without being in danger. He does surge forward, trying to take out the Colossus. Second one comes in just in time, though, and Nada is forced to retreat again. Yeah, he does have to temporarily back up. Blink Stalkers being a little bit aggressive there. And, but, uh, you know, Alicia's now... It, he's able to defend that army, but the problem is he doesn't have a strong unit composition. He's got four Zealots, two Colossi, and three Stalkers to kind of defend them against the Vikings that are out. Right now, there's a total of two Vikings out, two coming out at a time, and plus one ship weapons almost done. Yeah, here's the real story of this situation as well, is Alicia is on two bases. Nada just got his fourth up. Um, he's probably going to planetary that just for fun. Uh, he might as well be really safe at this point. We'll see. He might, he might orbital it. Who knows? Uh, he is going to plan to that. And getting another base. I'm getting a fifth as well. That's how far ahead he is right now. Nada is so far ahead that Lucky and Monster just went to their booths to warm up because they think this game is nearly That's over. That's true, man. And there's even a factory here landed by Nada to block the Nexus. Might as well get that factory there, block that Nexus, and slow them down. He actually sent a probe over there to make the Nexus. There was a factory there. He couldn't make it. Oh, wow. Nada's producing quad Vikings right now. Uh, so he is going to be able to put out 
more than enough Vikings to deal with those Colossus. And remember, they have plus one as well. And right now, the upgrades are going to be 2-2 for Nada in just a few seconds. That's going to put him even with the ground army upgrades of Alicia. He's got about twice the supply. And with the positioning of the Colossus right now, he actually has a great opportunity to hide the Vikings kind of over the trees and pick off the Colossi at his leisure. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Nada does have to end the game in the next couple minutes before Storm Tech comes up. Because if he waits, I don't think he's going to. But if he were to wait and wait until Storm Tech came up, Alicia would have a chance of getting back into this, but he's not going to wait for that. Takes out the third base. The Stalkers blink in, take out a single Viking, but the Bio Army is there, and they are ready to end the game. EMPs go off just for kicks. The Colossus going down so quickly to those massive Vikings. Looks like the Vikings are going to slowly go down, but it is not enough. Alicia's army folds. The Matter Mules drop. GG coming from Alicia, and Nada has tied up his score at 1-1. Alicia at a very difficult 0-2 in the group. I have to say, Nada actually outclassed Alicia so much in that game. Sent that first group of units in to try to force the cancel on the Nexus, but instead actually killed the army of Alicia and forced the cancel on the Nexus. Beautiful EMPs in that battle, and just an overall great amount of decision making from Nada. He was like, all yeah. right, I think this is the time to go. He kept sending his units out and was like, well, I'm not sure, and then came back. He, you know, forced a ton of force fields to be dropped in that first engagement that never really happened. Yeah. And pulled back, kept scaring Alicia. Alicia wasn't really sure what to expect. And in that last battle that went in Nada's favor, Alicia almost had 2-2. If he had had 2-2 in that oh. battle, I think that would have really helped him out. But of course, even so, it's, imagine a situation in which he does have 2-2. If Nada feels like the battle is going poorly, he can retreat. He can there retreat. are not that many force fields to trap his units. He can retreat. He's already got three bases with the fourth one going up at that moment. So Nada just leagues ahead of Alicia in every way oh, yeah. in that game. Yeah, yeah, and it really did come down to his decisions as to when to attack and when not to attack. I mean, deciding when not to attack is almost more important than deciding when the right moment to attack is. And Nada made every decision correct in that game, uh, was able to come out ahead uh, in that situation. Kind of, um, I hate to say it a little bit, but kind of as a uh, the other side of the coin to how we saw Huck play earlier, where he kind of couldn't really decide when the right time to attack was, and he attacked when it wasn't the best, when he maybe should have fallen back, and, and vice versa, ended up losing the advantage that he had, so. Yeah, very true. Well, you know, Huck's not out of it yet. Nope. He is 1-1 one, one similarly no to Nada, so. I still believe. <laughs> well, next up, we're gonna have a ZVZ. It's gonna be Monster against Lucky. The map is actually going to be dual site, so. I think, you know, it's it's tough to say which one of these players is going to come out ahead here. I believe Lucky lost to uh, Curious in his uh, Code run. So, I think so. You know, that's not not the best feeling in the world coming off a loss in GBZ. So you have to play against Monster, but yep. we'll see. Monster going to be feeling pretty confident after beating Nada. It was a weird game, but I'm sure his confidence level is a little bit higher than it would be normally. It's very cold in Korea, so you'll notice a lot of these players having these hot pads to keep their hands cold. Because if you guys out there have ever played StarCraft living in a cold climate, you know that your hands cannot move as quickly as they normally yeah. would without that hot pad, so it's very important to have one of those. No, it really does have an effect. I mean, uh, yesterday I was, I was uh, out in the cold all day, which didn't help my cold at all, but I was doing some sightseeing with my friends that are visiting here, and actually, hold that thought, we're going to get into the game in just a moment.